In a move that's making waves in the financial world, China's sovereign wealth fund, Central Huijin Investment, is buying up shares in the four largest American banks. But why? This is not just a routine investment. It's a power move that's causing significant ripples across the money markets. For the first time since 2015, Central Huijin Investment has increased its stake in Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, and JP Morgan Chase. The effect? An immediate noticeable impact on the stock market. With this bold step, there's a renewed sense of optimism in the market, as this signals potential government intervention to support the stock market amidst a global fund exodus. But like any power play in the high-stakes world of finance, it's not without its intrigue and speculation. What are the reasons behind this move? What does China's sovereign wealth fund hope to achieve by increasing its stake in these banking giants? These are the questions that are making investors, analysts, and even casual market observers sit up and take notice. This move has raised many eyebrows and questions. Let's delve deeper to understand why this is happening. To understand this power move, we need to take a closer look at China's investment strategy. It's a strategy that has been evolving over the years, becoming more complex and ambitious. At the forefront of this strategy is the development of China's capital markets and the reduction of its reliance on bank loans, a move that indicates China's push for control in the financial world. China's sovereign wealth fund, Central Huijin Investment, has been playing an integral role in this strategy. It's not just about buying up shares in American banks, but also about increasing stakes in China's own big four banks. This move is part of a larger plan to strengthen China's financial sector and support the stock market in the face of a global fund exodus. The asset management industry in China is expected to grow significantly, offering opportunities for foreign firms. This growth is not accidental, but a result of deliberate policy decisions aimed at developing the capital markets. It's about creating an environment that allows for more diversified investment channels, promoting financial stability, and enhancing the ability to serve the real economy. But let's not forget, this isn't just about economic growth, it's also about power and control. By increasing its stake in major banks, both domestic and foreign, China is positioning itself as a significant player in the global financial landscape. It's a strategic move designed to strengthen China's influence in the world economy and secure its position in the global power structure. This move by Central Huijin Investment is not a random act, but a calculated step in a much larger game plan. It's about positioning China as a dominant player in the world of finance, ready to compete on the global stage. It's not just about the money, but about influence, power, and control. This is China's investment strategy in action. So what does this mean for the global financial market, and how are other players reacting? Well, the implications of this move by China's sovereign wealth fund, Central Huijin Investment, are far-reaching. The financial world is a complex web of interconnections. A major move by one player, such as the Chinese government, can send ripples of change across the globe. By increasing its stake in the four largest American banks, China is not just investing in these institutions but also gaining influence in the global financial market. This power move has been met with a mixed reaction. On one end, there's a sense of apprehension. China's increasing influence in the world's largest economy can be seen as a potential threat by some. After all, with greater stake comes greater power and influence. On the other hand, there's a sense of optimism. The stock market has responded positively to this move. The shares of these banks saw significant gains following the announcement. This is a testament to the confidence investors have in China's financial strategy. Furthermore, other financial institutions are watching closely. Some are even considering following suit. After all, if China sees potential in American banks, there's a good chance they're onto something. As for Central Huijin Investments' future actions, it's likely we'll see further increases in stakes. As stated in the news, Huijin plans to increase its stake in these banks by buying shares in the secondary market within the next six months. This shows a clear intention to continue this strategy and further consolidate their position in the financial world. However, it's important to remember that the financial world is unpredictable and reactions can change rapidly. As the situation unfolds, financial institutions around the globe will be watching closely and adjusting their strategies accordingly. The reaction to this move has been mixed, but one thing is clear, all eyes are on China. So we've talked about China's strategic move, but what are the key takeaways from this? Let's boil it down. First, the China Wealth Fund's acquisition of more shares in big American banks is a calculated move, aligning with their investment strategy to diversify and expand their portfolio. This move is not just about financial returns, but
but also about gaining a stronger foothold in the global financial market. Second, the implications of this power move are far-reaching. China's increased involvement in American banks could potentially influence the dynamics of global finance. It's not just about the money, it's about power and control, too. Third, the global market's reaction has been mixed. There's a sense of caution, but also an understanding that this is part of a larger trend of China asserting its economic power on the world stage. In essence, China's strategic move is a significant event in the financial world, and it will be interesting to see how this plays out in the long run. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of finance.